So yeah, sure, Apple will let you replace products in their devices now. Doesn't mean they'll work, though. Tim Cook got you. <laughs> uh, corporations suck. Let's get into it. Skip it up and that up. So Apple pretended that they were going to follow the Right to Repair Act and make it that you could service your own devices. But this was a pile of crap that they were lying about. They were just trying to skirt around government regulation. And in theory, they make it that you could interchange parts in their devices. Doesn't mean they'll work, though. And that's the exact case with the new Mac Studio. Want to put your own SSD in there? <laughs> <laughs> you can. It's not soldered to the board. But will another SSD work? Nope. Even if you take another SSD from another Mac Studio, it won't work. This comes from The Verge and YouTuber Luke Miani. And he actually did an experiment on the Mac Studio and found out it's a complete disaster and Apple is still 100% anti-consumer. So we found out that the new Mac Studio has removable SSD storage, but the video from Luke Milani reveals that the Mac Studio still can't be upgraded. And it's not because of hardware, but because Apple appears to be blocking replacement SSDs on a software level. Now, other M1 powered Mac products from Apple have the storage soldered to the motherboard, but not the Mac Studio. So you'd think that's a good thing, right? But first off, getting to the SSD is absolutely ridiculous. If you watch the video, there's a rubber ring around the bottom of the device. You have to unscrew the panel and you're pulling out the unshielded power supply. But you would think, hey, at least I could get to the SSD. At least the SSD is replaceable. No it's not replaceable. Even if you want to, which you shouldn't, take apart your Mac Studio to get to the SSD, it doesn't matter. You try to put a compatible one in there, it'll still not boot up. And if you watch Luke Miani's video, bless this guy's heart, he spent about $9,000 to do this experiment, he was like, all right, so it's not letting me use a third-party SSD. Let me take the SSD out of another Mac Studio. I know it's going to be 100% compatible with the architecture of the Mac Studio. He took an SSD out of another Mac Studio. I, I can't bring that point home enough. It's not a third-party weird computer. Took it out. Apple product, Apple SSD. Put it in the other Mac Studio, it still wouldn't boot. It's a, at a software level that they are not letting you put a new SSD in there. You can't get any more anti-consumer than that. We know that Apple has been anti-consumer when it comes to repairs and when it comes to upgrades. And they, like I said, their other products have the, the storage soldered to the motherboard. You cannot upgrade it. That's it. With the storage that you get is the storage that you're stuck with. And the thing about the Mac Studio, you want to upgrade that storage to get more storage inside of there, especially if you're doing like 4K or 8K video editing. Here's what's going to cost you. I almost forgot to mention this. I actually took a capture and went to Apple's website to see. They want you to spend exorbitant amounts of money on their storage. Take a look. So one terabyte of storage is the base. You want two terabytes of storage? $400. You want four terabytes of storage? $1,000. You want eight terabytes of storage? That is $2,200. And I can't picture you buying this thing and needing any less than two terabytes of storage. You can argue you could hook up a Thunderbolt drive to it or whatever, but come on. Like I don't, don't you want more internal storage? Don't you buy Mac products to not have a thousand wires hanging out of it? Isn't that the whole reason why they went back to the standard Mac pro design because people were pissed off at it. But here we are again, they literally have the M.2 slot to let you exchange the SSD and they're still blocking you from doing it. You can't make this shit up. Now, YouTuber Luke Miani actually brought up an interesting point, but he says it's still BS, and I agree with him, that maybe Apple's doing this because they don't want the, it's a security issue, and if someone steals the SSD, they don't want it to put it in another uh, Mac Studio and see what's on there. No, that's a pile of crap. They want to make sure the Mac Studio, you have to purchase the extra storage from them. They could charge a lot more, and they don't want you to use or upgrade it. It's that simple. And I'm not even talking about the fact it's tough to get inside of it. It's just simply that they want you to spend more money on their storage instead of getting cheaper storage that performs just as well from a reputable third-party company. That's it. 
Apple is still as anti-consumer as they were three or four years ago. They're just trying to be more sly about it. Thank you, Mr. Cook. Excellent products. 10 out of 10. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.